Hey, Rudy, would you please say hi to our audience? Hi, good afternoon. Okay, Rudy, I know that you just um, write it out a new education program. Would you tell us a little bit about that program? Yes, it's uh, the story of the Vietnamese people coming to the United States. Right. It's, uh, it's a story based upon the standards required by the state to, for the students to study immigration in, uh, in their history classes. The Vietnamese story fits that requirement perfectly. So that's why we chose to tell that story. But one question that I want to ask you is that why do you think us young generation need to be in this program? Oh dear. It's so important. It's just so important. The struggle of your parents and grandparents during those horrible last years uh, after the signing of the truce agreements in Vietnam and the loss of their family and the loss of the bones of their family, the loss of everything that they had. Uh, and then to come to this country and to go through the struggle to become citizens and function in this country, to learn the language, the customs, and so on, is so important for the young people today because every young Vietnamese, if they are sitting next to their grandparents and their parents, are sitting next to a hero. They're heroes. I was a teacher in 1976, 77, 78, and I taught English to Vietnamese students who came through the tent camps, through Guam and Wake and the Philippines and Camp Pendleton and finally into to San Diego. And they had nothing, and yet they knew that education was the most powerful thing that they could get to be successful in, in this. They figured it out. And, and the struggle they went through with having nothing to become successful, look at you. You're beautiful, you're working in a, in a profession, a, a highly respected profession, and your roots, I saw people come across into the United States with a, with a pillow sack, a pillow cover, filled with everything they owned, everything. And look, those are those are your grandparents. So basically, they came with nothing. Nothing. Nothing, nothing except fear and hope. Some of them didn't even have hope. They were so scared. They were so frightened that hope was something that they that, that could come later. They were just mucked about. They were just pushed about and, and sat down and they had to trust that we would take care of them and that we would find a place for them and that they could find a place for themselves. And that spirit from within, that power, that's the story that we want to share with the students is that power that's within their, them and their families, their families. And, and they took everything they could get. They took all the information they could get and they and they worked hard and they got good grades. Exactly. They got good grades. And, and, uh, and, and that was so rewarding. And it was disruptive to some of the other people in the neighborhood to see them be so successful and work so hard when some of the others had been there for generations and had, never, had never done anything. Exactly. It's the great ideas that the people brought with them. They, we didn't teach them that education was important. We didn't teach them that family was important. That is the Vietnamese culture and spirit that they brought to this country. I think it was all because of um, our, what, whatever our grandparents been through, create a determination mm -hmm. to be success. Yes. But you know what? Standing here, listening to your story, and I'm really touched by your passion. Ah. Your passion of helping us young generation to understand what our grandparents been through to make us here today. Yes. You know, I, I thank you. Personally, I thank you so much for what you've done.